Hey everyone. So I haven't really had a lot of um, luck going to Goodwill or anything lately and I haven't really gone that much. Um, all the shipments of my subscription boxes are running a little bit late I think because of the holidays. Um, but I did go with my friend yesterday. He needed to pick up um, some gifts for his mom from Barnes and Noble and I picked up a few things. Um, first thing I picked up, I picked up two movies. So I usually don't get movies from Barnes and Noble because they're usually way overpriced. Um, unless you have the Barnes and Noble card you usually get off like 30% or whatever. So um, this, I've never seen either one of these movies, um, but I've been told that they're really good. Um, first thing I picked up was The Last Starfighter. Um, I believe this has been mentioned in, um, Ready Player One and The Armada by Ernest Klein. Um, if you haven't read with Ready Player One yet, and, um, you you know, like reading every once in a while. Um, it's definitely a book that will get you back into reading um, if you're a gamer. Um, but I highly recommend it. But it seems like it's a um, really cool type of movie. Um, this is actually, it's from 1984. So, and I've never seen it anywhere before, so I went ahead and picked it up. Plus, I mean, yes, it was like fourteen ninety nine, which is actually pretty cheap for Barnes and Noble. Most of their movies are like twenty dollars at least. Um, but I have the Barnes and Noble card, so I got both of these movies for twenty bucks. And the second one I picked up was Logan's Run. It's kind of like a dystopian. It looks like. Um, but it's from 1976 and one of my best friends suggested this to me so it's only six bucks and I've never seen it out anywhere either so I'm gonna give that one a try um, so then I walked I briefly walked past the manga section and I happened to see just the side of this book and it just so happens that's all I saw there, but it's uh, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and it's kind of like, it's a graphic novel, and it looks like the original was from, what, 1992? Um, yeah, copyright 1992. It was a comic series in volumes 32 through 43 of Nintendo Power. Um, from 1992, and it's just a reprint um, that was printed in May. But this is really cool. It's just it's it's all comic, and um, I've never seen this before. It was only 20 bucks, so I picked it up. It was the only one on the shelf, so it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, also went to Walmart, had to get some groceries. And I always stop by, um, there's a part that's kind of like halfway down. It's usually by self-checkout at any Walmart you go to that has like the Funko Pops and like some random like nerdy goodness over there. Um, it's also the same place where I got my um, Rick Walking Dead figure for 13 bucks, but you know those little um, those mystery packages that have um, the Legend of Zelda uh, figures in them and there was one that I was specifically looking for all you can do is kind of fill around because you can't um, you can't see what's inside and the first one I picked up I was like oh, I'll just give it a go and it just so happened to be the one that I was looking for but it's uh, Link with his slingshot, and this is the one that I really wanted from Ocarina of Time, so 
I've got um, I've got Zelda, the young Zelda from Ocarina of Time as well. Um, besides that, I think I might do a video of a collection, um, a video game collection of one of my older systems. Definitely not um, PlayStation 2 or 360 because I have a lot of games and it would take forever to go through all of them. Um, but I might do like my Nintendo 64 collection, especially since that was um, that was my first system I ever owned. So um, if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know. Um, I'm just waiting for my subscription boxes to come in. And I don't think I'm going to do a lot of pickups um, between now and then. Everything's pretty much everywhere. It's all just gone through. Shelves are empty. Um, it's kind of difficult trying to find anything. Um, although, um, I think it was a week ago, my friend went to Disc Replay and um, found Rob the Robot. Um, and he was 60 bucks, and he picked him up, which is really cool. Is you don't see Rob very often, and yeah, 60 bucks is a lot. But, and I mean, he didn't come with this box or anything, but still, it's not something you see most of the time. I don't think for 60 bucks, that's not too bad. Um, I would have picked him up, too. Um, but I, the other day, I walked into Disc Replay, and they had, um, they had, the guy said that he just got some Sega Saturn games in and asked if I was interested interested but I don't have a Sega Saturn so I wasn't uh, Sega, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna really care about that right now but um, unfortunately they haven't really had anything else since that one time that somebody brought in a whole bunch of NES and uh, SNES games um, and I picked those up anyway so and they also had a manual to Star Fox 64 along with the cartridge. I asked if they would sell the manual by itself, but they wouldn't. So, which is kind of a bummer because I think they're the same price either way. Um, whatever. I mean, I could just buy the game and then sell the game or trade the game and then keep the manual, but uh, I don't know. If they still have it, maybe later today or whatever, I might just go ahead and buy it. Um, other than that, I don't have anything else. I will talk to you guys later.